my nail mitre at the end there, and I've just got a little piece to sit on that mitre, and then give it a stand down, and we're ready to wallpaper. Grab a small piece in for that. because it's already finished, you don't need to plaster it. You just joint fill. It's always advisable to put a base coat on. Either a good um, trade in motion, a few coats of that to give it a base, or what I'd like to do is put a lining paper on. Um, I use a good heavy grade. And with these, you'll get, um, I'd say about double the amount of runs than you would from a conventional roll of wallpaper. When you're pasting them, conventional rolls, you would do four runs at a time and then put one up, do one, put one up. So you've got three constantly sitting soaking and that gives you the five minutes that you need for soaking. With this, because it's so heavy, I like to do six at a time. It gives you that extra little bit of time to soak. And as this wall only takes six, then one quick pasting up is done. Right, like I said with the other job I did, when you're doing a new plasterboard wall, always size the wallpaper, uh, the wallboard. That is, put wallpaper paste on the wallboard, especially on any joints. And it just helps the adhesion of it all. This is what I'll do now. Okay, like with any jobs, pick the hardest part first and get it out of the way. Here I've got a door case and I've got a plug socket right next to each other. And um, the rest of it, just flat wall. So there's nothing there to bother.
extension next, so I'll leave this socket right off. It's not live yet, and it helps me avoid it if I've not screwed it to the wall. Very noisy. To excuse the noise in my house. Very noisy. I've only got one bulb that works, but there we are, that's the light thing back up again. Now I've got um, the radiator to put in, I've still got to touch up that. As for the rest of the woodwork, you see it's had a, a primer coat, just a, an emulsion. Um, but I want to get an odourless, quick drying cloth paint for that. Um, just as a kid's bit of. And that's it, now I can move into the other one and start demolishing and rebuilding that one. But, getting there. Okay, and that's the radiator done. You don't need to see me putting a radiator on, you've seen enough of them. Um, right, well that is the wall now finished, complete, decorated. I've still got the doors to um, do, in a, we do that in an antique wax. And um, simple, easy way. The other side I'll do it to match the doors in the hallway. And I've still got to give the top coat to the woodwork. But otherwise, this room is now finished. The wall is finished. Okay, now I need to go on with the rest of the house. Right, well thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, stick them in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye for now.